Hey, my family, where are they? What did you do with my family? Please, man! Just do us both a favor and pretend you're still asleep. I wouldn't start talking if I were you. You're lucky we do things a certain way. I'm already tempted to put a bullet in your brain for what you did to Lonnie back then. If we start talking, I'm gonna get angry. What happened to him was an accident. Yeah, right. Keep talking, we might find ourselves in a similar accident. You get what I'm saying? Please, you have to believe me. We were just... Not another word, or God help me, I'll put you to sleep myself. We still got a haul ahead of us, and I'm not about to listen to you. What the hell? Stop! Stop! Oh, shit! Oh, no, no. Good. Just keep looking forward. Please. I just... I need help. Well, that's obvious. The way your friend there ran off, I don't think he's likely to come back and save you. Okay. Now don't do anything stupid. Because I'm not as nice as you. I won't hesitate. You're a kid. Well, wait, did you do that? With the tree? I was trying to stop the truck. Oh, shit. Well, you almost crushed me in the process. Tree fell slower than I thought it would. Put your hands up. Close your eyes. Look, I'm the victim here. We're all victims. Oh, so it's okay for you to rob me? This is payment for saving you. Hey, that's for my niece. She loves chocolate more than anything. I promised it to her. Please. Keep your eyes closed and count to a hundred before you go. Wait, just... My family. I need to get back to them. We were attacked and I don't... Look, I just need to know where I am. We were driving down the 522 and that's when we found the junkyard. They're still there. I need to get back to them. I know where that is. You said you were driving? In our van, yeah. I'll take you to the junkyard, if you let me have your van. I get you there in one piece, then I drive away. Yeah, absolutely. You got a deal. Good. Let's go. This really necessary? I don't know you, I don't trust you, and I'm not taking any chances. So it's safer for both of us if you're tied up. Hey, that's fine with me. I don't trust you either. Glad we understand each other. The name's Javier, by the way. People call me Javi. Clementine. Well, thanks for not killing me, Clementine. Don't thank me yet.
You're good at that. Look, you don't want to talk? Fine. But how about you give me that gun back so I can at least defend myself? For all I'd know, you'd turn around and use it on me. Now, come on. This whole silent loner thing you got going on? Just be real with me. I don't know what you're talking about. Muertos. The herd caught up with us. Muertos. What do you call them? Walkers. Well, what do you call the ones that run? They're all fucking walkers, okay? Look, I'm just... I'm not used to being around other people. Not for a while, anyway. Usually, it's just me on my own. Yeah. Well, it shows. Meaning what? Meaning you could sure use a dust-up on those people skills. So, who's at this junkyard? My brother's kids. And his wife. It's impressive, surviving this long. Not sure how you did it. Just keeping everyone together like that. Gabe and Mariana are tough kids. They learned how to survive on their own. You seem to know a thing or two about that. Yeah. Well, how about you? You must have been pretty young when this shit started. I was. But some people looked out for me, too. What happened to them? Same thing that happens to everyone. Shit. We can't stay here. There's a town up ahead. We can stay there until the herd passes. Otherwise, we're walker food. Fine. Whatever you say. Thank you. Don't make me regret this. Come on! Days, those doors are gonna close and your ass will be on the other side. <laughs> yeah, and when that day comes, Trip, I promise I'll eat you first. It's Clementine, right? You staying a while this time? No. Once the walkers pass, I'm taking this guy to a junkyard off the highway. My family might be trapped there, hiding from some very bad dudes. Well, shit. I'm truly sorry to hear that. This herd rolled in pretty quick. We're hoping it's gone just as fast. So, just keep your heads down and steer clear of trouble. You got me? There's too much going on outside the walls tonight. We'll be cool. Just need a place to ride out the herd, that's all. All right. I'm gonna hold you to that. And I wouldn't recommend changing your mind. If you wanna hang on to all your teeth, that is. Now head on in. I got shit to do. Well... Welcome to Prescott. It's 
a pretty cool place, actually. Built from an old airstrip, I guess. The people, on the other hand, they're not my favorite. Usually I'm in and out as quick as I can manage. Not exactly an option this time, though. It's just a pit stop, okay? We're gone as soon as there's a window. I hope that window comes soon. In the meantime... Hey, Javi. What's... what's up? My family, they're still out there. If you guys made it this long, I I'm sure you know, you'll know what to do. Hopefully. Let's go, this way. I gotta see a guy about some bullets. place like this it's well you know it's just like the old days listen I gotta take care of something hang tight oh, wait wait what should I do I don't know why don't you make some friends Excuse me. Oh, you again. <laughs> you got some moves, I'll give you that. Hold on a minute. Don't I note you from somewhere? I don't know. Maybe. Garcia. Javier Garcia. For what it's worth, I think you got screwed on the gambling thing. A lifetime ban. Shit. Should have had a 20-year career. The way I see it. Nothing wrong with betting on yourself to win. Nah, they just wanted to set an example. I was the poor bastard they used to do it on. All I know is what I read in the papers. Anyway, I'm Conrad. This here's Francine. He runs the place? I just take his money. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe I'm just letting you win. Oh, actually, if you're the gambling type, game's poker. Five card stud. I'll raise you. What do you think? Should I call? Should have fold. Hmm. Don't get too intimidated. I lose more often than I care to admit. He's bluffing. He's got bullshit written all over him. <laughs> Is that a fact? Right. I think I'll listen to the man. Call. Moment of truth. Flip him. Oh my. Ain't that a pretty sight? Yeah. Nice. Well, calm down, both of you. Thanks for the advice, hon. How's about a drink? On my tab. Bottoms up. Wow, oh, man, this smells like turpentine. <laughs> <laughs> That's the weak stuff. Don't turn away from me. I'm talking to you. Oh, shit. Hey, what's the point in talking when I already told you a deal is a deal? And it's done. What's going on? This guy ripped me off. I traded him a crate of perfectly good batteries, and he gave me a box of bullets that won't fire. He could have gotten both of us killed. Oh, yeah? And who the fuck are you, a bodyguard or something? Because I don't scare easy, all right? Just make it right. We can all walk away from this nice and easy. Uh, well, you can't even prove those are the bullets I traded you. Oh, hey, Clem, come on. He knows the bullets don't work. Listen to him. He's not even nervous. Oh. I could have died because of his bullets. Unfucking believable. Look out! Hey, listen. Let's all cool down, huh? You were acting crazy, I was too. We just got a little out of hand. That's all. Just give me what I'm owed. Jesus. You gotta get her under control, man. This ain't no way to do business. Boy, you have it wrong, buddy. I don't control her. Which looks like bad news for you. We had a deal. All right, hey, okay, all right, so, hey, we'll, we'll trade back. 
I'll find some batteries. I don't need batteries. What I need are bullets that won't get me killed. Oh. <gasps> oh no. Oh no. Drop the gun! Right now! Say he attacked you and that he was going for his gun. I fucking warned you! Eli attacked him. I only shot because... Shut it! You done enough talking. Drop it. There's a herd out there and you're firing off a fucking... What the fuck happened here? He attacked Javi, okay? It was self-defense. Enough from you. Did she really have to shoot? Look at my eye, man. Of course she's telling the truth. The guy ripped her off, reached for his gun, and would have shot me if she hadn't stopped him. See? You happy now? <sighs> God damn it. I'm putting you two under lock and key until I figure out what to do Whoa. with you. Oh, hey, what? Are you for real? As real as it gets. Now move it. Got some nerve coming in and fucking up my bar. I to punch your fucking lights out. Both of you. But Eli was a grade-A certified dipshit. I'll even have someone come take a look at that cut. Hey. Thanks for having my back at the hangar. That was, um... That was cool of you. Of course. Anytime. Well, I mean, you and I are a team now. Thanks. I mean it. Just... Don't think this makes us friends or anything. Hello? I'm Eleanor. I'm what passes for a doctor around here. The trip sort of overdoes it sometimes. I hate that I'm treating you in a cage, like you're some feral animal. Javier. Pleasure's all mine. Is it now? Now, let's see about that wound. Yeah, he got you good. Try to hold still. <clears throat> Why is it always the pretty ones who end up causing the most trouble? As if good looks equal bad behavior or something. Are you calling me pretty? <laughs> I was talking about Eli, the dead guy. Oh, yeah, good. Because I prefer dashing. Or debonair, maybe. Yeah, I'll try to keep that in mind. People are saying she killed a man in cold blood. If you don't mind me asking, what did happen exactly? That they were arguing and that she went crazy over nothing? Look, things got out of hand. Clementine was only trying to make a point, but then... You make it sound so casual. Best thing is probably for you two to leave town and get back to your group. We were attacked earlier this evening. There were four of us. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. If there's... If there's anything I can do to help. Well, not that I have much to offer you, but... If you really want to help me, let us out of this cage. Eleanor? You done yet? Just about. All right. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm driving you that junkyard myself. Get you out of my hair, and no one can say I didn't do right by no one. In the meantime, you two can sleep right here and think about what shitheads you were earlier. On my terms and on my timeline. You got me? All right. Fair enough. Fair enough? Go kiss a skunk's ass. I should be earning a goddamn Boy Scout badge for this. Trip, it doesn't seem right to wait. Javi's people, they can need a medic. No, nah, no way. Not putting you in that kind of danger again. That's not your call. Look, maybe there's another way. We've got a rear gate down at the other end of the airfield. We don't use it much, but... Well, we could leave tonight. Slip past the herd, get a jump start on reaching that junkyard. It's too risky, and if Muertos were to somehow surround us, we... Don't worry. It'll be fine. Anyway, think about it. I've got to check on some patients, but I'll be back in an hour. Are 
You know, I never would have guessed she had it in her. Yeah, she's... She's something. The thing is, is, and maybe this sounds weird, but I still trust Trip more than I trust her. You're right. Trip's got more muscle, just in case. We'll wait and get a ride with him. Glad you're finally listening to reason. You know, when I met you, I thought you'd just be another asshole like everyone else. And to think that when we first met, you nearly blew my head off. <laughs> yeah, guess I made the right call. It's gonna be a while before that herd passes. We might as well get some sleep. Good idea. I'm exhausted. I'll get the lamp. Draw on there, goofball. Can I see? <sighs> you know I'm no good at this game, but I'll try to guess what it is. Just give me a second. Is it a picture of you? It's me. <sighs> it looks just like me. Come on, can you say Clem, AJ? Give it a try. Clem. Not much of a talker, are you, goofball? Edith says you should be speaking by now, but... Don't worry about it. You'll talk when you're ready. That was weird. Clem, open up. It's me. Edith, what's wrong? The group from last week. They're back. And now they're armed. This is bad, Clem. Th there's a lot of them. What do they want from us? More than we can give. And, and now they're angry. Just pack whatever you can. Be ready to run, just in case. They got a lot of cars, and they're seriously pissed off. This is gonna get ugly. I know it. And pack your stuff. When I get back, we gotta get the hell out. Shit, shit, shit. Barry Centrals, come on. We fucking begged you, man! Our people are sick and starving! It didn't have to be this way. You could have just given us some grub, some medicine, that's it. This is your fault. Y'all are... Clem! Clem! They're inside! We have to go now! there. Hey, Clem. Yeah, we're close. I gotta say, I hope your people are safe and sound. Eleanor asked me before we left to make sure of it. Oh, yeah? Yes, sir. So that's what I'm gonna do. Though why she went to bat for you, I've got no idea. I mean, she hardly even knows you. And you don't know her, for that matter. Hey, I didn't ask her to. She did that all on her own. Yeah, well, I guess she's got her reasons for things, but I never can quite figure out what they are. Guys, that's the place. Oh, shit. What a mess. Oh, 
must have been hundreds of them. Kate's good in a crisis. She'd know how to get shelter. What's that? said block yourself in and don't come out not even once it's quiet it kept running through my head like on a loop you did exactly what you should have done i always knew you were a smart kid thanks it was scary at first but once the muertos couldn't see me anymore they just passed by kate and your brother where are they we got pulled apart when that huge bunch of muertos showed up kate yelled that they were going to try to make it back to the van and that's where we're headed let's go find your brother sweetheart Oh, no. No. No sign of them. They must have seen it like this, then gone someplace else to hide. Kate. They're trapped in there. Mariana, stay back. Another couple of minutes, we might not have been, but then you showed up just when it really mattered. Yeah, well, that's kind of my thing. Oh. I, I wanted to come after you. I, I swear I did. You don't have to snot all over my shirt about it. I thought we were dead. Like, never gonna see you again dead. There's no way I would let that happen. Yeah, well, you weren't here. The herd showed up, and Mariana was gone, and we were waiting, and, and waiting, and then... I was just so scared. I'm here now. You don't have to be scared. Hey, you hurt yourself. You must have scraped it in the truck. Didn't even notice. Hey, at least it's not a bite. Well, not much we can do about it here. I've got a lady friend who's a doctor. As Soon as we get back to Prescott, she'll patch you right up. I'm Tripp, by the way. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. We should be getting back. Don't want to push her luck. Who's the kid with the gun? She have a name you want to share with us? Clementine's a friend. Hi there. Glad I was able to help. Well, we're very grateful to you. Really. There's a town nearby. It's safe. I like the sound of that. Oh my god, Javi, do they have hot water? Even like lukewarm water would be okay. I think so. Right, Trip? <laughs> well, I guess you'll find out. I thought you'd been to this place. I have. I just. I didn't have much time to relax in my jacuzzi suite, <laughs> you know? Between you and me, these kinds of missions don't usually go so well. But you found every single one of your people, and you found them alive. Healthy, reasonably cheerful. Well, let's wait to celebrate until we're back behind the walls, okay? I don't want to jinx us. Well, some things are worth saying woohoo about, that's all. 
When we get back to Prescott, you still owe me a working ride. I haven't forgotten about our deal. You couldn't have known what happened to your van, but still... I was hoping you might stay. You know, considering... Considering what? You came all the way out here with me. Yeah, for the van, not for... Cool. Thanks. Ready. <laughs> 